Welcome back. It is a month since the death of a 15-year-old British tourist, Scarlett Eden Keeling. However, the controversy regarding her death and circumstances thereafter refused to die down with the mother of the deceased, Fiona McKeon, continues with the rod of allegations against Home Minister Ravi Naik and the Police Department. Are you planning to settle down in Goa? I would like to. We'll have to see what happens. I want to settle down in a country that feels safe. No, at one time you are saying that it is not safe and you are planning to settle down in Goa. It doesn't feel very safe when I know the police are trying to cover up my daughter's murder. I love the people here and I love this country and I would love to step, settle down here. But I need to feel safe and I need to feel like I could trust the police if anything else goes wrong ever. Briefing media persons yesterday, Fiona again accused Home Minister for threatening her to pursue the scarlet death as drowning. Your consistent threats to implicate me have been received by me verbally through your minions in the last three weeks. I do acknowledge that. I was told not to pursue Scarlett's case as being anything but death due to drowning, or else you would implicate me with the might and power of the state behind you. According to Fiona's disclosure on national television that she had thought of making Goa her home, in this regard she alleged that Ravi Naik tried to browbeat her to leave this country quickly and quietly. To cover up the murder of Scarlett and browbeat me, to leave the country quickly and quietly. Mr. Minister, what you don't know is that I love my daughter and would happily die trying to find justice against those who killed her, however high and mighty they are. She also disclosed the Home Minister in collision with the police have threatened to arrest her under Children's Act. Threatened to either imprison me on trumped up charges or throw me out of this beautiful country. You have in your press conference yesterday announced these options as well as tried to justify them. While your prejudgment against me is certainly without evidence, it's clearly a license to your men in uniform to harass me. However, she also said that she is making these allegations on circumstances and she doesn't have any evidence to support the allegation. Uh, concrete evidence, no, but I have very strong suspicions due to his actions. Uh, I don't, why would his actions be the way they are? Why has he not approached me? Why has he not been sympathetic? There was a Goan boy murdered in my country. The police, everybody was so sympathetic towards the family. They supported him. They apologised. I have heard not one word from him. It doesn't make sense to me. Witness Michael Manonen, who was present at the press briefing, disclosed the reason for leaving Goa after the rape and murder of Scarlett. I spoke to the police yesterday, they asked me why it took so long to come forward. I told them about the initial legal advice I'd had from Mr. Josh Peter D'Souza and they seemed satisfied with that. He said he doesn't have any grievances against police as they were cooperative during investigation. No, I, at the moment I have no grievances with the Goa police at all. They were very helpful yesterday, they treated me very well. We all know that the officers in the first investigation have been suspended. I have great faith in the, the officers that are conducting the investigation now. I have no, I'd like to say I have no grievance against Goa at all. I find Goa to be a great place, it's full of great people. But unfortunately, like everywhere in the world, there are dark sides. Meanwhile, Utgoenka Ra spokesperson Iris Rodriguez demanded immediate action against Fiona under Children's Act for leaving her minor daughter Scarlett alone in Goa. Ud Goinkara also demands that the Goa police should take action under the Children's Act against the mother of Scarlet killing because a mother could not have gone to Gokarn on a holiday and left her minor daughter in a Strangers place. Briefing media persons, a social activist demanded police to investigate credentials of advocate Vikram Verma, who is presenting Fiona for his involvement in land deals with Russian mafia. Verma is closely linked to the Russian mafia in Goa. Records in the sub registrar offices indicate that Mr. Verma has been a broker in buying properties for the Russian Mafia in Goa. So the police have to inquire into the links of Mr. Verma and as to why he has been involved in this case. However, 
Vikram Verma rubbish the allegation made by Utko and Kara. I have not been involved in any land dealings with nationals from either Russia, Italy, England or anybody. But if there is any such allegations which he has heard, I would be happy to see the documents. But what the record says, what we are aware of and where we have been involved is in the matter of deportation. Advocate Rodriguez also demanded suspension of Dr. Silvano Dai Sapeco for grave lapses and negligence while conducting the post-mortem. We have already spoken to the Chief Minister and the Chief Secretary and demanded immediate action against Dr. Sapeco and both of them have assured us that the inquiry is on an action will be taken against Dr. Sapeko. Uth Goenkara also demanded PSI Nurl and Albuquerque be immediately reinstated in service. Parts of the police investigations show that the PSI concerned Mr. Nerlan Albuquerque has diligently conducted the inquiry from day one. In fact, our question to the IGP and the DGP is they have to point out as to what were Mr. Nalan Albuquerque's lapses. There are none. We would challenge the IGP. Now the IGP has buckled under pressure that they have to show that some action is taken and they have made Nalan Albuquerque a scapegoat. He also accused Tourism Minister Miki Pacheco for being behind the suspension of PSI to get back at Nerland's elder brother police inspector Nelson Albuquerque who had arrested him in the shack burning case while on the threshold of entering politics. For Nerland's Albuquerque's suspension has come from Tourism Minister Mr. Miki Pacheco, the man who has taken law in his hands time and again has demanded that Nerlan Albuquerque not only be suspended, but be dismissed. And the reason is known to all. Nerlan Albuquerque has another brother who is a police inspector, Nelson Albuquerque. And while Nelson Albuquerque was a PI at Kolba, he had the courage to arrest and place Miki Pacheco behind bars. Time for a short break. You are with Goa 365.